So Uzun Hassan, who is the heir to the Akinu Sultan at the start of the game, is one of history's lesser known general. I actually made a short on this. He starts out pre-programmed uh, to have insane stats. He also has land uh, leader shock. In combination with the fact that the Akinulu state has the best starting ideas. They have plus 10% morale of armies and plus 20% cavalry combat ability. Insanely powerful, along with land leader shock and uh, yearly tribal allegiance. And also the fact that they can get a further 15% from this. A lot of nerd stuff, but bear with. Uh, it makes them pretty insane. Uh, so today we're going to see if we can outconquer Uzun Hassan. Historically, he would conquer this, the Akinulu Federa Confederation. Uh, basically, we just conquer eastwards, take out the Karakinulus uh, and everything else here. Very unlikely. One of history's uh, underdogs, for sure. He then would go west into the Ottoman Empire and be destroyed due to cannon. So we're going to see if we, can't, if we can uh, replicate what he did in his lifetime, which means that we have not that long. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we're going to start from this guy as well, but we're going to try and conquer all of this and also try and defeat the Ottomans in that time, which should be feasible. First things first, I do want to uh, address one thing, which is that uh, my keyboard broke and I got a haircut, but my keyboard broke. Uh, and what that means is that I had to go and get another keyboard, obviously. I went to the Curry's, which is where you get your PC stuff, or at least uh, it's that close to me, and I only had one in stock. Usually I like to go for a silent keyboard because I'm recording, but this one is not silent. Very satisfying, but... That's not me mashing all the keys. That's just what it is. So, uh, bear that in mind. We're all just going to pretend that's not a thing. I'm going to try and press the keys as quietly as possible. There's a YouTuber called uh, Glasses who literally works on mechanical keyboards, and he's incredibly funny. Uh, and he warmed me to the idea of getting a mechanical keyboard that feels like tactile. Uh, unfortunately, they all sound stupid loud. I'm trying to really gently just touch the keys. It's very satisfying to click, though. Aggressive expansion impact. I'm t Okay, Merchants Plus One is always good. Always a bit more income. Uh, we are kind of centrally located with the Aleppo trade node. Yeah, we've got merchants. I'm gonna look like a real idiot if I can't actually pull this off. All right, we're gonna go horse lord type style thing, which means that we want this, guaranteed dim autonomy. So we're gonna have full religious unity because they're not gonna contribute to our religious. Maybe it doesn't update yet. Uh, we're also going to grab ourselves very dimmy conscription and also dimmy taxes. So dimmy taxes first and then we'll go dimmy constriction as well. So then every province that isn't of our faith, we we do well with 50 admin or a bunch of claims we'll go for a bunch of claims nice okay we also as that can you have uh, a little mission tree it's okay it's nice to have somewhat of a mystery this is all the basic stuff obviously we have destroy the ubids which gives us claims defeat the black sheep which gives us claims and cavalry combat ability which will be very useful against the ottomans actually uh conquer the caucuses which gives us tolerance with heathens well this is like 20 years stuff though so i'm not really too fussed about it this is plus 2.5 percent it's nice but then morocco has one that gives it permanently i feel like uh you have Early on, in uh, when mission trees were announced, you have the lesser powerful ones, and now they've just sort of accepted the fact that mission trees are always going to be overpowered. With I mean, obviously the Poland one is just frankly ridiculous. Rival Trebizond, we'll rival Dolkadir, and we're going to start getting claims on all those lads. Uh, probably ally the Ottomans. Nah. In the spirit of Uzun Hassan, uh, who was defeated by the Ottomans, we are not going to do that today. We are, however, going to grab more cavalry. We're going to make the most out of that cavalry combat ability for sure. I was testing out kind mods, kind mod, the guy who's editing this video is not going to be happy because I was testing out the space bar uh, and it turns out that's the hotkey when I've tabbed into uh, OBS to start and stop the recording. So that's good to know, but he's going to have to deal with that. Sorry, mate. Uh, do you want to ally Ajam again? No, because that's where we want to go. Timurids, maybe. I don't want to get dragged into the... Uh, oh. oh, I kind of want to go no allies. It feels right. You've probably allied the Mamluks. Yep, you have. You have allied Piss and Kafer, so let's go after you, and then presumably the other Balix as well. Okay, so let's start getting claims there. I want to also fight Trebizond. We just want to get stronger, pretty much. Obviously, it's the aim of every E4 campaign. Thanks, Lath. Cheers, Lath. <laughs> okay, home node is over here. Can we shift trade at all? Why would we... Okay, we're shifting it to Aleppo. Why would we collect in, collect in Crimea and not in Aleppo? And we are losing money, so we do want to go to war as soon as possible. This is a really satisfying keep with the click. Yeah, let me check my recording make sure I haven't been like, accidentally hitting hotkeys, okay. All right, there's a claim against Dolkadir. Switch you on, so we actually progress... Put, switch on the fort, so we actually uh, project forts under control. And let's get it going. All right, murder you. And let's go murder his and Kafer before he gets all of his morale. It's a bad couple of rolls, actually. Oof, 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 not good. Okay, he's, he's retreating that way. Let's hide our troops. Our allegiance is going to decline every year. Do we want to go straight? I mean, how long is it? 20, it's 10, it's only 10 years. And it does give us manpower recovery speeds. Okay, so we don't need it right now. When we're fighting like someone who's good, that's when we 
Go for it. We were all... <laughs> Still getting used to the keyboard. All right, we are also heading to mysticism. Ah, uh, that's nasty. I'm going after Samsky. Kind of wanted that for myself. All right, there we go. <sighs> That's so painful. Caraman declares war on Dolkadir. Shouldn't get there before we do. Okay, nice. Now we settle. Who are you allied to? No one. Okay. Start building a spy network on you and also on you. The cool thing is Caraman's not going to be able to ally anyone as well. Ramazan declares war on Dolkadir. Ottomans declared war on Dolkadir. Well, there goes the idea that I was going to vassalize him. Damn, everyone really goes in, huh? This is just turning into a keyword review because I keep on feeling the need to mention it because it's just, it's very tactile. I, I can't tell if I like it. Well, there go them. Okay, our route into the Caucasus just got a lot trickier. George and Theodora, not great, not impossible. Grab some more cavalry. For that, we're going to need to give some loans out. And by give some loans out, I mean give the... I was going to say give the pleasure of giving us loans. Here's my issue. When I speak in videos, I have like a, a, a determination to not be wrong. So instead of restarting my sentence, I'll just warp it. So like, like that, I should have said take loans, but instead I said give, and then my brain instantly, instead of going, huh, okay, what a mistake, let me re-say that sentence, it goes, how can we change the wording such that it still makes sense? All right, yeah, it's unconditional, that is very painful, that's fine. It's going to keep declining, unfortunately. How long? 15 years of national tax modifier. Can't afford that. Defending the mountains, to be fair, anyway. See, when you click a wrong button, there's a really interesting feature of this keyboard when you click a wrong button in E4. It does that. It's, it's crazy, really, that something like that'll happen. Fine, it's just a weird quirk of the keyboard. All right, that's the Siege of Hissin Kaifa. Get rid of Salahuddin's old boys. Did not mean to unpause that, but that's fine. That fulfills that mission, which gives us permanent claims and a lot of nice places Ooh, everywhere. In fact, we've also been guaranteed by Kara Koyunli. People hate it when I pronounce that because I, I physically cannot pronounce it properly. It's, it's a terrible shame. I want to see our cover infantry ratio is 60%. Right now, I think that is 60%. I've got to be careful. All right, let's go to war immediately against this lot. I wonder where he's going to go. Right there. Okay, perfect. Grab our boys, head round and murder him. Instant stack wipes, what we like to see. And let's just make sure. Go stand in every province. Now, I'm going to try to take his capital just on the off chance that he does decide to unconditional. Obviously, we'll try and take both provinces. Warned by the Ottomans. That actually suits us really nicely. Does that count here? It does not. Excellent. Oh, a triple zone. That'll bring in the Ottomans. About this no allies thing. It's kind of... Kind of a crazy thing that I said, huh? That's, um, that's a thing. Because, like, I could, ooh, you know, like, oh, that'd be crazy. Just oh, attack Kara, Kara Kiyunlu with uh, Ajami help. That'd be pretty fun. be pretty quirky, huh? All right, nice. We've got a four, five, six in control. Okay, so we have this guy's lifetime, which is probably about 30 years to recreate his conquests. and see what we can do here. There's no siege ability. This guy does. Okay, I'm actually pleased that he does. Okay, Ottomans and Mamluks are joining coalition. This is going to get rough. I really... I don't know why I make it hard for myself. I could have just allied them. I could have just allied them and I didn't. Huh, Timurids have done quite well. They actually are fighting Multan. Vassals are loyal and Shah Rukh's not there. He might ally me. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do this with allies. <laughs> not a change of policy because it could have been edited out, if you know what I mean. Although, knowing kind mod, he's probably left this part in to embarrass me. Been warned by the Mamluks as well. They know. They know what's coming. All right, everyone hates me. It's fine. They're not rivals at all. I'm pretty sure if I ally a jam, it won't automatically invalidate any sort of alliance with. The skewboard has a bunch of buttons that I keep hitting, and it keeps on doing things on my PC. I don't know what they're doing. Like that, for example, this bar. Oh, I just hit a button, and, and something. It's, it's crazy. Dude, two restarts in the same video. <laughs> this close together? Dude, look. I need to look at the timestamp of the video right now. We ain't that far in. <laughs> Frankly ridiculous. Wait, how old was he when he died? Dude, he reigned for five years. <laughs> oh, de facto leader instead of Sultan. Okay, gotcha. Right, so 1478. Died when he was 54, 55. Technically, we have until 78. It's a shame I called this province, actually. Because releasing Iraq would probably be a better idea. The weight of admin power. Look away from your screens if this hurts you. And I'm not able to release Iraq. Why not? It's going to release Hiss and Kaifa. Iraq's not a thing yet, so why can't I release him? Seems suspicious, game. Yeah, I can't release him. I'll release Syria. There we go. Okay, so that covers us for a little bit. If I declare war on you, it's fine because you're not boarded. But I need to make sure that I fight you before the Ottomans take Trebizond and before Fadl takes, uh, is annexed by Mamluks. You are tech four. I have five loans and I make no money. I'm going to get rid of this Hiss and Kaifa fort. Can't afford it. Also, this fort down here. I will royal marry the Timurids. Because I feel generous. Usually I never marry my uh, allies. But today, I feel good about that. Okay, you're going to decline pretty soon. How much does it cost? 30. And how much do we decline each year? Like 0.6. Okay, we're fine. 
Karakinian now basically stretching from the Persian Gulf to the Caucasian Mountains. Like a decent game for them so far. Anything else happening? Strange. Uh, Son of mine happened. Everything else seems pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard thus far. Gotta be careful of the Ottomans trying to get them out early. I'm warned. I forgot I was warned. I was about to say, I can just dust off Ramazan. No. The only route of expansion. And one of my... Th I'm, I'm very much the definition of a bit of a buffer state. I am a buffer state between the three powers of the region. How many favors do I have with you? Five. Let's start currying favors with both of you. Dude, it's crazy how I didn't say no allies. I didn't say... I yeah, didn't say it. I didn't say it. It doesn't exist. You won't, any, you won't find any record of that. Right, kind mod? All right, there's the next tech. Very important tech, especially for Muslims, especially if you've got a cavalry army. So, we're on tech four. We've got three, five, five. Damn. All right, we go after them. The Jami help. I'm hoping that the Jamis will take the brunt of it. It'd be great if they did. Grab ourselves the cavalry combat ability. Take out some more loans and grab ourselves the free company. What's my army professionalism like? Non-existent. Wonderful. Free company. Grab another 10%. 5%, sorry, morale. Should be kind of ready for this soon. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Take Mosul, threatening separatists. All right, so let's trigger our high income, because why not? Uh, I want to trigger our rules before we go to war. Uh, manpower take up a little bit, and let's get going. Jam, we're going to take Mosul. All right, we've taken Mosul. Let's see, he's pushed into here. Jam's fighting that fight. That's a good fight to take from a Jam. I want to chuck a siege guy there. We're going to do trustworthy allies. Yeah, sure. Probably save that for when I'm annexing a vassal, but whatever. I'm going to gun for the capital. Hopefully the temptation of my unprotected land prove... Oh, come on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, we'll, we'll get some of it at least. Obviously, I want as much of this land as possible. I'm trying to go mysticism, but like, there's just there's way too many options to go legalism. Like, mysticism really isn't viable. It's it's a, it, like, some people think it's what? I, the way I, I play the game, I like it, but there's not really a, a way of getting it. Most things you do will be... Uh, to do with uh, legalism. Oh, glad I declared this war now. Look at that. I need to take Rahba because if we do not, then we cannot cut off the Karakinul. Because if I leave this province, when I try and attack them again, they uh, will instantly join the war. They being, of course, the Mamluks in this equation. Oh, okay. You're just going to sit there? I'll take that fight every day of the week. Discipline. What are your ideas? You're pretty good. As, yeah, carry Cobbler plus 20% land leader shot. Good ideas to start with. Not as good as mine. Almost lost that one. Yeah, attacking him in the mountains, not my first choice. We do need to try to get him to peace out. We do need to try to get him to unconditionally surrender. Best way of doing that is to try and crush his army. A lot of troops he's got out now. now. Okay, well, there are significantly less now. Fewer, I should say. All right, well, that's the army's crushed. Go for this mountain fort. Shut the free company in. Save my own manpower. Dude, the Jammers actually put in a shift. They have done well. Yeah, they've actually done more than I have. But I remember the way that we get tribal allegiance is by fighting battles. Uh, well, winning battles, I should say. Accumulating rivals. So we do need to get, get as many battles as possible. That's why I'm being quite battle heavy. I'm trying to save up as much as possible. Mm, is that going to make people disloyal? Nope, still loyal. You've managed to get far, okay. So the Timurids are a potent force in this game. Which is unfortunate for me because I need to try and kill them. And unfortunately our heir... Is it 525? No, that's we're, we're a sinner. Damn it. To be fair sort of purge a lot of people from their livelihoods. That's fine though. Let's go take Mosul back. Oh, he's spawning in more troops. That's more battles. If I can fight more individual battles, I think that'd be better than one big one. So let's go ahead and do that. You should want to peace out now. I was off the money. All right. Key fight here is we've got a lot of vision all over the place. Uh, culture values. We want to martial society. Grab that extra manpower. You get to run out, but it does pay to keep on top of those things. Boys option is high. Should have probably been dropping that instead of teching up. But that's fine. The concern is they hit me in the mountains. Let's not let that happen. Now, I have the disadvantage of being confined to EU4's mechanics, uh, whereas the real life guy uh, could just conquer. Am I saying that me playing a video game reenacting what the guy did is harder than how he actually did it? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm just saying, I think the guy would have struggled with EU4. Probably easier to do in real life. Right, there's 98%. I kind of want big truces with all this lot. I'm not going to piece them out separately anyway. So, mountain forts it is. Let's grab Mosul itself, so then we can release Iraq. Although, it might just release Soran. Okay, let's go for this one. Back Rahba. That's Syria. Let's take Rahba anyway. Sinjar. Okay. We need cash. That works for me. Cut them off. Take land for Iraq. New targets up here. Take the mountain forts. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, admin power. Who are I do? Theodora. We can get a claim on Theodora. I have to fight Crimea, which honestly, not that tall of an order. Do I have claims on all your land? Yeah. Now can I release Iraq? There we go. All right, we are going to go ahead and rival... That doesn't take much for me to hit the space bar, does it? <laughs> That's just funny. Anyway, uh, we're going to rival the Ottomans. 
and the Great Horde. I think we can go and hard into Ireland. They're having a good game. So are France. It'll be interesting to see those two stack up. France should not lose that. I don't see how they would they lose so much money. Uh, get rid of that fort. Gonna get rid of the fort in Diabek, I cannot afford it. It's a really good fort, and I'd love to keep it, but we are a poor nation. Yeah, that's take six done. They're 813. Bro, if the Timurids were to come in here against either one of these two, fantastic. Fighting the Tim the uh, the Mamluks actually seeming like a really good idea. Ottomans won't come in. I need to do a little bit of debt restructuring here. Keep on gently tapping the spacebar, keeps on pausing. That's gonna be really bad later on. Okay, we're more in debt, or roughly the same amount actually, that we pay less in interest is the key part. So yeah, we have less debt. Like, that's how that works. Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Carry on. How are we collecting in Persia? Nip in, murder this lot. There we go. Get his cause done. If we're going after the... If we're going to go after the Timur, the uh, Mamluks, we need Syria as a vassal. Why are subjects? Yeah, I'm not picking that button just yet. It's annoying. They're just heavily in debt. Once Timurids get out of debt, they'll uh, they'll join us. But equally, we're also heavily in debt. <laughs> Drop that and see if we can't stave off some of these rebellions. The okay, Georgian separatists, that's fine. They're going to go off the cars. Oh, I was minus 5%. Come on. I don't know why I thought I could get a claim on Theodora. Clearly not, Lath. Right, nip in, murder that lot. Okay, that should settle that down. Should be we make barely any money. Two ducats and we have 800 debt. That's 400 months boys 400 months something tells me i'm not gonna be sitting here in debt for 100 months the palatinate yeah i don't know that's gonna go well for you the teutons managed to beat how are you allied to sweden the only one of mecklenburg and bulgar nothing that would suggest that you're able to defeat the poles oh you're still alive or sell some awesome ship i just have to hit this lot again oh i'm struggling a bit here because the question is whether or not i'm able to get as much money as the war would cost right Against the Mamluks, no doubt in my mind. We need the Timurids to help with that. We gotta do something, man. We really have to do something. Otherwise, we're just gonna sit here and just get taken out by the Ottomans. Okay, Timurids have enough troops for us to be able to utilize. The Mamluks will probably come cascading down. Why are you hostile towards me? You desire Erevan, bro. Bro, I know it's a holy site, but come on. I will give it to you if you help me fight the Mamluks. Yeah, screw it. We gotta do it, don't we? All right, let's get it ready. Recomability, no forts over here. But that kind of sucks. How close are you to not wanting to do it? Ah, you do it all day. Okay. You are negative 100. Attitude towards enemies. Now, do you want to go war taxes or this cavalry to infantry ratio? They'll take it up to 80%. Not going to need it if we're using the free company, though. So perhaps war taxes. Well, as much as I love aggressive expansion impact, war taxes is the smart choice in this one because our monetary situation, not great. Might seem like we're okay, but we are losing a duck in a month. We're already 800 ducats in debt. Okay, you've dealt with that. Head into India. Nice. I can't put this off anymore. Let me take core Antikia. Just make sure you've got military access. Uh, we will compensate with getting... Where are you? Strong duchies. You madmen. You can't go straight in, boys. <laughs> it's not a good idea. We'll do it. We're going to do it anyway. Oh, four, five. That kind of means we don't need to worry about our king. I want to take out our king. He doesn't need to control anything. Timbers are coming. Yeah, go fight the timbers in the mountains. That sounds like a great idea. That's a lot of troops. Okay. Well, we can probably put a dent in them. Uh, in fact, if we're going to do that, let's start getting the ticking war score from now. It's a lot of troops. So we, how badly are we outnumbered? So, timbers only brought like 10,000 men. Okay, if they're going to go round, they're going to get caught by this mountain fort. So that works nicely for me. Do you have a siege guy? You do. Uh, also, let's get some men on the siege just in case he decides that he doesn't want to do it anymore. That's a common issue. So uh, go ahead and invite the merchant. I should be able to reach Bowser right now. Yeah, we could probably get a stack wipe off here. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, is that mountains? It is. Okay. If we hit him right, we could potentially stack wipe. Not if only my 3k gets involved in the battle first. Although that's a hefty zero to roll. Okay, that puts us real, real nice positionally speaking. That's 34,000 men. There's a revolt, that's fine. The like, Karakun use this, they are. How many men do we have here? 23,000? That's not enough. Might be the right advisor. Discipline guy's looking real nice. Let's see what happens. Painful, but definitely worth it. Let's go straight for his capital. Is he gonna retreat to the capital? Oh my god, he did. Oh, that's huge. Sure, well, you can military access, bud. So I mean, like, it's just... It, it's, I've gotta go for the legalism option. It's just objectively better in all facets. Uh, if the Mamelukian troops... Uh, are anywhere near here we've got an issue because the timber has decided to not be involved. okay well don't worry about it we've taken the the, the capital of uh, we'll just walk around here pick up some easy stack wipes i'm happy about this okay yep that's uh just keep wandering around murdering all these troops if they're not gonna move that's fine we'll take them what the hell is he doing I'm warned by the ottomans that is absolutely fine mate just bleeding his manpower okay we have a huge 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 lead this is good is he sieging something? Yeah, he's taking back the war goal. <gasps> Damn it. <laughs> okay, or not. Okay, I kind of want to stack wipe off here. Send you guys in. Damn it, I didn't send in the two-side general. I was a bit off there. Uh, the Timurids have, rather nicely, 
destroyed my rebels, which is good. Okay, the mammoths have built up a decent force again. We still have a load of manpower to go, though, so we're okay. And we keep bleeding his little soldiers. Well, they're, they're probably presumably standard size, but they're small in terms of stack. Yeah, that's, that's okay to say. <laughs> right. I am going to ask my vassals if they'd be so kind as to siege. And at the same time, I'm going to order some food because I'm starving. If I seem a bit, if my, ener my energy is a little bit different, it's because I had to take an hour-long meeting in the middle of this recording. It has also occurred to me that I haven't eaten today and it's 5 p.m. I'm meant to be bulking. I've got 3,200 calories to eat in. Ah, uh, it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna go siege back, okay? Our king just died. So 1476, we're four years off of where he did and we're missing about half of his lands. Okay, well look, it's fine. We're going in a different, different direction. Okay, cool, they'll actually stay in siege, perfect. We need to fight this. Oh, the timber is you beautiful bastards. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, lovely. Oh, that's, that's an unfortunate place to retreat to, buddy. Oh, that's even more unfortunate. Yemen, are you being sieged down at all? No. Well, you're going to be saying, yeah, man, to this proposal. Like I said, man, I haven't eaten today. <laughs> and then I just drank for comedic effect. I wasn't, I wasn't even thirsty. God, I'm a mess. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this, even though it's hideously overpriced. And uh, we're going to need to grab... Oh, we don't need you anymore. We need more admin tech. So we have 99%. I don't know why I'm still in this war. Uh, all right, return the cause to El Surya. I reckon just cash. I'll get 700 ducats. That should take me out of debt. Uh, in fact, let's take less ducats or fewer ducats and take four reps instead. I've, I'd love to like dive into these heartlands here, but I need the money. <laughs> I'll pay off six of our loans. Now we only have 600 loans. We are 200 ducats richer than when we started. A reconquest. When does this end? Three years. Okay. Rid of this. And I want the virtual trade. When I said weirdly, trade. Uh... Let's go over here, subjects, and grab ourselves a little bit of a trade. Thank you very much, much obliged, much appreciated. Should I do it to Iraq as well? You wrote no reason why not. It's like mildly annoyed at me. That's okay. I'm mildly annoyed at myself. You want me to pay off my loans? Well, I'll, I'll try, buddy. Just no one else rise up and we'll do it. This is the part where we can beat it. We cut the people immediately rising up. A 333 is good. We'll take a 333. It's above average by one in every category. Because the book just ate sheer that. I don't know why it was so surprising to me. It was just such a dramatic. Who are you getting eaten by? Zickerbook. Dude, he's he's going sicko mode. Oh my god. <laughs> he ate Shearman and now he's going off for the Great Horde. Who are... Wait, Gizikamook's allied to the Ottoman? Oh, of course. Yeah. Dude, we're making money now. Woo, making a lot of money. The war operations and trade coming in clutch. Perfect. Turns out it was a very good decision. Now, we need to fight the Ottoman. Jam would come in. Tiberius would also help. Austria. Well, isn't that an interesting conclusion to draw? Hey, buddy. I was just talking about you. It's crazy. Ottomans have announced his new rival. That's okay. Oh, the Mamluks. That's... That's okay. All right, two years. I should probably actually get more troops. Okay, you're not a horde, lay. Don't just <laughs> build cavalry. Temptation is there, though. Did you get a buried wedding cat? You didn't. Damn, I wish I had a fort here. If only, if only there was one at the start of the game that I didn't destroy. I also do this. Okay, nope. I think it's a 4-5 with 10% infantry combat ability. It's a bit of a beast. Well, that's a satisfied button to hit. Good. <laughs> Morocco going into West Africa. Good to see. Tugurth's still alive. Tlemcen's still alive. Interesting. Tlemcen's allied Castile. Okay, cool. There's the truce. How many troops do you have? Okay, Miltech 6, we're on Miltech 7, though I don't think Miltech 7 actually means much. Actually, is it an important tech? But both the Timurids and the Jam would come in. I kind of don't want to call in either of you. Okay, well, you don't have any interest. So we'll call in the Timurids. Do you actually want... Look, I'm kind of allied to both of you, and it'd be cool if you didn't kill each other yet. Later on, very cool. Right now, kind of bad. Right, let's ally the... Uh, if I may... Oh, I, I may. Excellent. Let's get some favors with the Poles. Don't see a little bit of uh, Byzantium in the future. Can't ally Austria as well, right? Nah. Okay. Uh, right. We're on minus two stability. We should probably fix that. We have some money, so let's start hiring an advisor. Uh, military access through Shirvan and Manzaran. Don't need either of those. Took leather war and call in the Timurids. Reconquest. Now, curry favors. Now, by the end of this war, we should have amassed a decent amount of favors. Uh, can we have access through you? Yeah, if you're locking in a way... Nope. Okay, I'll just go straight for Tabriz then. I'm gonna ban the siege of Tabriz just to actually defend my lands a bit more. Okay, we're just a little bit better at fighting them. Okay, Halab is a fort. Just hoping that the Timurids will come in and actually help me win this. Although, we have cleared up our, our lands rather nicely. So we do a lot of damage. <sighs> I thought it was the good general that, that just left us, but no, the 4-5 the is still around, lads, don't worry. I'd make a joke about testing out my uh, keyboard's alt F4 function. But you've already seen it in, in practice twice. Very enamored with the amount of um, manpower that we have. It's great. A bit of a stomp this. I suppose it wasn't meant to be anything harder. I don't like the look of you. The stability for no reason. Always a fun feature in EU4. Very tired of that. I wonder how many times I've seen that 
Presumably hundreds, right? Uh, we'll go for this. Religious unity and stability cost modifier. In my quest to try and get negative piety, I've, I've, I've got negative zero. Safe to say it's not been a successful endeavor. Finally. Okay, right. What do we want? I don't go aristocratic. 15%. Stacks nicely with our ideas. It's a shame we can't have horde ideas. I don't like the fact that you're there. I mean, you know something that I don't. Yo, Mr. Austria. Just saying, whenever you want, I'm friendly to you. Just hit me up. See, even Tabriz feels like it's been going on a while. That's upsetting. Dude, just... Okay, he just unconditional. I didn't get the satisfaction of knowing how long it had been, so I could complain about it on camera. Iraq gets a lot of land. I'm tempted to give you more land, because that's how generous I am. Iraq and Iraq. I want Tabriz. Because the mountain fort, I want the state of it. There you go. We only get 32 ducats though. So we get acquire subject, diplomatic annexation cost minus 15%. Uh, and with that, we'll grab mayor's integration policy, gives us another 5%. And now we can annex them. So we're going to go after Iraq first. Maybe Syria first. Iraq first, because it's going to be harder because they aren't our faith. Oh, they are. The Sunni. Wonderful. Grab a dipper rep guy. We can indeed. Oh, for five ducats a month. Thank you very much. Won't we'll spend that much in this house. What kind of bonuses does he come with? All right, I'm just going to. Take the lead, there's a route. Okay, we do have 16 favors. I get prepare for war. Get that going. Come on, man. Don't attack Harkin, you know. Fair gives you a chance to get rid of your war exhaustion. Does give me a chance to murder the Armenians as well. Please don't take that out of context. I mean, strictly within the confines of the game. I don't have to... <laughs> It sucks that I feel the need to say that. Okay, they're going to arrive in Irvan. We are going to bait them into revolting. Armenian. Not going to finish that sentence. Look, I've, I've selected two legalism events. 39. Forty of attack Muscovy. All right, well, there goes that plan. Not only the shock, but we also get absolutism and autonomy change. Quite useful in centralizing the realm. We should get, only get richer from here on out. So skill two, 50% cheaper guy. And land leader shock. So we've got plus one here, plus one from here. I thought I had a lot more than that. Uh, is in a good position to sort of contain the Ottomans if you can get to the Mamluks beforehand, because that's where the Ottomans get a lot of their base tax from. And if you have a strong Austria-Hungary, it kind of limits them as well. So the... Ottomans right now have very few avenues of expansion. I can't tell if there was someone knocking. It was indeed someone knocking. It was my food. I have a chicken shawarma wrap, which incidentally, I'm very unhappy about. Not because it's a chicken shawarma wrap, because I like that. That's fine. I'm a big fan of chicken shawarma. I'm, I'm upset that uh, the, the shawarmas from my hometown in Tabulba, in Tunisia, uh, aren't the shawarmas that we have uh, in the UK. Uh, it's, it's, it's honestly one of the worst things that ever happened to me. Tunisian shawarma, it's just, it's just good. There's just something like peaceful about it. You know how good it is. God, I miss it. It's done like a, a you know, in a like home baked circular bread as well. None of this like wrap stuff. It's not a wrap. You don't, you don't put a shawarma in shawarma wrap. It's disgusting. Okay, I'm just gonna go and kill this lot because otherwise you're not gonna help out in the war. Need more troops. Mild emphasis on cavalry. Just kill. Okay, I have to march my ass wall. Good timing for it. Very good timing. My allies are scattered. That's fine. Watch the earth and run for the mountains, lads. No troops defending us on this side. So I finished my meal and have mused over this uh, conundrum we find ourselves in. And I find myself mildly optimistic. Okay, you lot are probably gonna die, so let's not have you turn up. Right, we need the Timurids to actually be here. The Poles are also kind of getting occupied. Okay, initial resistance is gonna be us. Well, before we bail out of here, let's scorch Earth, our capital. Fucking dumb defensiveness. Right, oh God, he has so many troops, man. I don't catch him at all. Timurids are coming with some of their troops. Did not realize that I had unpaused. I'm gonna take the loss to prevent them doing something there. That's a win. Okay, that's interesting. That opens up some options. Another victory there. That is better in every way, every single goddamn way. Uh, discipline, let's go morale. We're taking double casualties here. That is kind of useful. Okay, we killed 20,000 men. Timorous, mate, I need you to do something here. Okay, let's pick off some of these troops. Yeah, I can't risk you dying. Oh, got in there just before you got stack wiped. I'm just cleaning up as many of these little troops as possible. Uh, okay, I need to switch my boys over to being supportive. Attaching to me. Give me manpower modifier. Sure. I need some more tribal allegiance. We're going to jump in. Zenkan, even though it's a mountain province. Oh, we get there first. Nice. Oh, this is scorched. Okay, that scorched, that scorched. Jump in here. Stalling until the poles turn up. Which they have done. Excellent. Okay, they pieced out. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's that cleared. Now the plan is to sacrifice Poland. Can I nip out of that one? <laughs> God, this is a game of very, very little uh, distinction between the sides here. We have run out of manpower, essentially. Okay, some stability. The reason for that is because we can get better loans then. Yeah, what else can I do? What's the more gold? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Dude, just attach to my armies. I don't understand why my vassals are insistent on just, like, not existing with me. And where are the Timurids? Bro, you're not winning. Just either kill it or don't. Right, we're gonna have to run all the way back here. 
just to deal with the Timurid uh, pretend rebels, such that they'll actually help fight. Because look at them, they're just freaking out. This is the stupidest thing I've ever had to do. There are more pressing issues. Oh God, we could be defending so well here. He's, he's marching through all of our difficult territories. And instead, this is what we do. Right, are we happy now? We're gonna lose my capital. We've lost the capital. Th this is what you've done. It took 39 days? I've been fully occupied damn near. Oh, Timurids. And they've only sent 5,000 troops. You have to bear in mind that that province is now scorched as well. And we are making no money. It's not fun. Go to Mosul. Drylands. We can hit that rather effectively, it would seem. That's also Drylands. Really? How's he skipped through me? And where are the Timurid troops now? Okay, they're actually starting to march over here. Take back our capital. I'm gonna sell our crown lands because we need the money. <coughs> Jimmy's gone to deal with Poland for a little bit. Yep. Gain 3,000 manpower. That is a blessing. Where am I? Where's my tribal allegiance? I've been smacking armies left, right, and center. It'll give us another 6,000 manpower. Gain a general with 50 tradition. Not bad either. Please be a siege general. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah. He's a 1-6. Not bad. Go to Ankara. Uh, I want to use my my plan for Shafi scholars to disappear. I need that money. Tifarak will be so kind as to... No. To finish the province you're on first. Oh! Elephants in Europe. That counts. Where are your troops? Okay, they've got 50,000 men coming. No. No. No, 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 no. Stay. Stay. Stay firm. Right. So the year is 1495. Did I manage to outconquer our great historical leader? Not really, because I needed to push into Iran, but I did manage to defeat the Ottomans, which is something that he wasn't able to do. So I reckon we're 50-50, and also I pushed into the Mamluks. So, if you want me to continue this campaign, then do let me know in the comments down below. Let's see if we can't uh, destroy the Ottomans. I think this is a really interesting one, because the Ottomans are really tricky for us to try and kill here. Uh, they have uh, a lot of allies, which is really... Uh, which sucks, because it's a lot of individual places, because it confuses the AI. Uh, Poland Lithuania got dogged on by Muscovy. So they're not a strong ally, and I've lost all my other allies. Ajam has rivaled me in the Mamluks. Aren't weak enough that I can fight them myself? So it's going to be a bit of a puzzle to solve. So if that's something you want to see, then please do let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, uh, just make sure to subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.